Hi everyone, welcome to Max's Mad Mythic Mercenaries. My name is Cameron, I'm your substitute dungeon master for the day. I'm here to run a game of Dungeons & Dragons uh, Waterdeep Dragon Heist for my friends. Uh, say hello, friends. Hello, hello friends. friends. I love Ailey. <laughs> Um, last time we played, we had just started, it's Elliot the 21st, and that means in Waterdeep, it's the Bright Swords holiday celebration. Bright Swords is a day for the city to commemorate, uh, the city watch, the city militia, and the city navy. Um, there's a lot of different feats. Each ward has a different competition they do, um, to crown some local ward champions. And currently in the North Ward... Uh, we are in round two of the Bright Swords competition, where... North Ward for life! Yeah, North Ward forever! Um, where the uh, Max's Mad Mythic Mercenaries have made it uh, past the feeder round and are soon to have their first match in the main arena. Um, where we left off last time, um, Wilhelm Swingpike was making his announcements to the crowd, letting them know about the sponsors and all that stuff. Uh, and you all have a, a good amount of time before the start of your next match. Uh, so we'll go down into the basement area uh, beneath uh, the arena where you all are kind of resting up next to the Doom Raiders. Um, what does the party want to do right now? We want to rec reconnoiter and reconnaissance. Absolutely. How do you like to do that? Well, I need to here. see them when they just for a second. Yeah, me too. I'm zoomed out. So I remember that you told us last time which of these folk were where, and they do have names, but do they also tell Only us two toes. which uh, which group they are? Oh yeah, so like they're they're uh, you like ask the guard um, about the bear assignments, and he he says yeah yeah it's it's basically by the the bracket system. He says. So obviously, like in here, we've got Max's Mad Mythic Mercenaries and the Doom Raiders. Uh, up north, we've got your first round opponents. Um, we've got the Troll Crag, not Bandits, and Xanathar's Guide to fucking shit up. Uh, he says to the to the west, um, we've got um, the Salt Fire. He looks at it and he says, "Friends, that that doesn't seem right, but okay, I guess that's what they're calling themselves." Um, and then uh, we also have. Uh, Clan Anvil. And then on the east side of the compound, we've got the Night Watch and Every Flavor Barbarians. That's terrifying. Right, so Alu wants to check out our first round of opponents. She wants to use her new power of being able to read lips. Mm. Mm. Which is a very nice thing to have. Yeah, Wonder absolutely. Um, you can you can make your way up um, north. Um, Great. Tell me tell me what you are you because so you have access to the compound. Um, you need to get cleared with the guards to actually enter the north barracks. But it's like this is not like a nice building. It's very utilitarian. The doorway is just open if you want to kind of hang out on the outside and read lips, kind of that sort of thing. Like pretend are these around the edges? Are those benches? Like if I put my character here, is that a bench? That's like a weapon rack. Okay, that's what I was asking. They kind of look like benches. Yeah, you can still um, sit on it. But yeah, so you can post up there. Um, the the first thing that um, you'll notice, uh, actually, give me a perception check. And Alu, I believe you do not get advantage on perception checks related to smell, right? You just give me a regular perception check. I think so. Hey, 15's good enough. Um, you're kind of hit with, like, a stench of garlic and rum. Uh, and you'll, you note that it seems to be coming from this direction over here. There, there's someone just kind of stinking it up over here. Um, what you note... I guess just kind of in you spend some time observing them. This doesn't seem to be like super close friends. Um, you get some names uh, over time. Um, let me. I think I can do. Oh, no, I think you can see the names, can't you? Can. Um, yeah. So, so you pick up enough chatter so that you can identify Priscilla, Sod, Orpheus, Neela, and Bluster, um, and you get some. You, you get to observe them for a little while, Bluster. Uh, it is a halfling bard. So you notice a, a small halfling bard 
Um, really just full of venom. Just doesn't seem to have nice things to say about anyone. Complaining about everything. Just seems to be a little jerk. Um, Priscilla is kind of off on her own. Um, she seems to not be engaged with the other members of the team. She seems focused on doing her own thing. She's a half-elf. Um, she is equipped with a bow and arrow, um, as well as um, you can see that she has on her a, a short bow and a dagger. Next to her, near her, is Sod. He's a half-orc. Um, Sod is equipped with a club, um, and, and Sod um, seems to be a bit of a poet himself. Um, he um, seems to be working on some bit of poetry, and Bluster is having uh, no amount of... Uh, he, he's very much enjoying himself just ripping Sod's poetry to shreds. Um, Sod seems pretty pretty annoyed by that. Um, other than that, um, every now and then Orpheus um, shouts up he is a human. Um, he shouts up at Bluster and Sod to fucking knock it off. I thought he needed to clarify to everyone in the room periodically that he was a human. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am a human. human? <laughs> Who said I wasn't? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he, he seems to, you know, get them to pipe down. Um, and then Neela, she's kind of pacing around this bed that's provided. Um, she seems to be a little anxious to get going. That's kind of the, the gist of what you observe. Is there anything else specific that you're looking for or just kind of passively monitoring there? You can their... kind of evaluate strengths and weaknesses tactically, figure out how our team can best take them down. Also, gotcha. it, there's ways to like make them mad at each other and yeah. like, kind of influence that where they are less likely to work well together. She would take advantage of that too. So like in my mind, Alu's starting to like, she's listening to Saad's poetry and like trying to come up with ways to like make it better or like rhyme with him or whatever, like to be like nice to him. Yeah. <laughs> to kind of fuck with bluster. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, you, you can spend as much time as you want observing them. Um, they don't seem to be, like, talking strategy themselves. They're not as smart as us. Um, they, they just seem to be kind of doing their thing. So here's a player question, not a character question. Um, absolutely. In between the matches, do we have the opportunity to come back here and chill again, or are they faster yeah. after that? No, no, no. So, so each round, like essentially, they they like the the organizers for you know competitor safety and all that. They a lot. Uh, each match probably will only take a couple minutes themselves, but then they a lot a period of rest in between rounds. Um, during that period of rest, there's like other shows going on. It's a gladiator arena essentially. There will be horse races. There will be performances to keep the crowd going. Um, so there's no rush on your part. Every between every round, the party will have enough time to short rest. Well, I just wanted to check because uh, otherwise I'd be like, okay, who else do I need to, you know, buy on? Right. Yeah. So if you want to, I see what you're saying. If you're trying to go like. Uh, round by round, you can absolutely um, focus on things that way. Yeah, I think that's is, their strategy, focusing is, on each. Is there anything anyone else would like to do right now? I think the only oh. other thing Alu wants to do is she'd probably kind of, because now that we have that bracket, which I don't remember off the top of my head now, um, she'd probably want to kind of observe who would we most want to fight at the end? Like, how do we want our match up, the matches for others' matches to go? Ooh. And, like, okay. Serve, like, give hints to certain people about, like, you know, oh, I noticed. Uh, you're going to like, game this, aren't you? You're going to game yeah, this system. Yeah, so, so I love, I love oh, that, Shri. Hey, um, hey. Tell, me, tell me how Alu is looking to uh, do this. What, what Some notes. What's her, is she, like, talking to guards is she going to go talk to other competitors um what oh, I think yeah definitely like talk to the guards as she's like schmoozing her way and kind of like not making it look like she's spying on on people but she's 
kind of like quiet and nondescript and so she's not like stoey but she's kind of like kind of person who'd like walk up and be like oh hey i think that this you know whatever i don't know like if this person was practicing with a sword she might be like oh maybe you should do this and i think you're going to be really strong against so and so because they look weak on whatever i've noticed that they drop their shoulder when they charge or whatever the case may be gotcha um yeah you can absolutely try and gain as much information as possible um i guess we can start with so yeah i guess if the team's like if you all are collaborating to gather information um f uh roland you watched the night shift fight the blood sworn correct yes i did um so you know a little bit about the night shift yeah. um um i know the mage mage hunter on their hands yeah i think if i remember right you watched xanathar's guide and you watched them fight the white fang tribe does that sound right the white fang tribe was like another group of orcs but like like serious tribal orcs i think you watched that match um and you saw that the xanathar's guide is their magic users like they're they're focused they seem to have sorcerers wizards and stuff like that um and you know they're going up against your boys the doom raiders and I think if you talked like the uh, the Caleb and Kaylin love Alu, so like if she's trying to talk with them to share information, they'd absolutely be down for that. Um, I guess yeah. In the time that you all have before the next match starts, um, Alu is going around gathering information. What about everyone else? Excuse me. I'd like to approach the nearest guard and ask them if they know anything about the Anvil Clan Anvil. Um, or yeah, would I know anything about them off the top of my head? I think I think that um, give me a history check. Oh, yeah, you've heard of Clan Anvil. You know that in millennia past, uh, five friends like you've heard this story. Five friends, they kind of fought their way from fledgling adventurers to powerful heroes, and they call themselves the Band of the Anvil. It's interesting that they um. And this, like I say, millennia ago, um, this group carries the name Clan Anvil. Um, and as far as people talk, this seems to be that same group of adventurers from a thousand years ago reunited. Um, you know, for a fact, one of them's a zombie. Um, <laughs> Lena, you can you can clearly make out Lena. Um, she's a zombie cleric. Um, she, the story goes that a thousand years ago, she damned her own soul so that she could save, um, some innocence. Um, there's a human monk named Morlos. You've heard all sorts of things. Um, like he's kind of the heart of Clan Anvil. Um, he's a simple, unassuming old man. Um, it's hard to make out, like, t as far as you know, you haven't heard stories of him wielding, like, magic or um, ever attaining high status or anything. But he just, there's just legends about him just coming out of history every now and then to just fuck up some evil every now and then. Um, there's a high elf uh, named Ballora with Clan Anvil. Um you know that she is like currently a high elf but Ballora has also been the name of in the past orcs lizard folk um a thrykeen like um what there's there's weird rumors about Ballora either it's a title that gets passed down or maybe it's someone who's constantly reincarnating like um there's a dwarf uh, Abjur, um, no, known as Ruby. Um, and the same thing, she looks young. She looks like she's not, everyone else is like this ancient being. Um, she looks young. The stories about Ruby, she's always been a dwarf. She's always done this thing. Um, um, her name was originally Ruby the Red Death. Now she just goes by Ruby. The, the, this, this, person goes by just ruby um um but there's legends of her that she once gathered an army and attacked the gates of mount celestia 
Um, but apparently she lived to tell the tale. That's nuts. Uh, and then there's Lan. He is uh, a human warlock. He's there too. You gotta kill Adam him the first. Warlock's a boring character. <laughs> we gotta yeah. kill him first. I, I, I'm, I'm sitting there kind of think, thinking on the names, and I turn to the rest of the group like, we don't want to fuck with Clan Anvil. They've been around forever. And mm. I tell them all of that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Alu's gonna That's... add that to the list of how can we help other the other team defeat these guys. Yeah, and you know that round one, um, Clan Anvil is going against the Barbarians. Can the Alu really barbarians. talk to the Barbarians? Or that, like? Yeah, absolutely. You want to go over yeah. and, and talk to the guards and to let you in like, to talk to the Barbarians? If you, yeah, go ahead and like let them know what they're up against, but don't like Give Make them give, give Clan Anvil free intimidation tactics. <laughs> like you got to talk them, you got to make them aware of their, that they're a threat, but you can't like psych them out. Or what Be about careful. this? And try to pump them up because maybe the bar- barbarians can do an upset and beat them yeah. with mm-hmm. your face. If you can kind of like that might need to help them confidence. You got to be careful. Them up. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I'm I'm just suggesting the idea, but yeah. Clan so Hollerys. Damn, Clan Anvil's yeah. monsters. I wouldn't want to go up against them, but <laughs> we know you're going to take them. You guys are the only ones. Yeah, yeah. Tell them a little bit about the information about what they're up against, at least. Like a couple warlocks, some monks, some bliches, a lot of magic. Jeez. They're not going to care. <laughs> yeah, so, so Holly, first help. thing I need from you, you you leave the quarters, you go over to the guards in the east quarters. Uh, yeah. Give me, uh, what, what are you doing to be allowed in? Uh, they do tip their hats to you. They say, "Miss, uh, go delicately." Check. Yeah, give me, give me that persuasion check. What are you saying exactly? Um, hi, you guys are doing such a great job. Uh, thanks for all of your help with hosting this. Do you mind terribly if I just uh, sneak on by? I just there's a friend of mine on this team, and I just I really want to wish him luck. Yeah, give me that persuasion roll. Uh, yeah, they they bow to you and they say, I mean, ma'am, your family essentially paid for this building. So uh, as far as our, we're concerned, it's yours. Uh, go on in. Um, and yeah, Thank you're you. you're able to go in. You see, um, first you see on your left as you enter, you see Brenda. Um, she is surrounded by four other people in armor. Okay. Um, one more lightly clad than the others. Um, and then to the bottom, you see full five, like kind of shirtless bearded dudes, um, chatting around in a language you don't understand. Okay. Um, can I determine what language they're speaking? Um, yes. Bothy. They speak Bothy. That was close. Bothy? It's a made up thing. B O T H I I. B O C. Okay. Okay. I thought you were like trying to do a Bofi these nuts or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just the whole okay. pause. Yeah. Build up. Um, yeah. Bofi is the language. It's spoken by the Uthgard barbarian tribes and the inhabitants of Hartsvale. You'd know that. Um, it's you may not be fluent because you you speak. You don't speak Luskin either. It's like uh, no. a bit of a, a neighbor sister language to Luskin. Um, so you know what language they're speaking, but you can't understand what they're saying to each I other. Can't understand what they're saying. Yeah. Um, okay. But they're also speaking amongst themselves. Like you haven't tried to address them yet. Right. Um, sorry. Give me one second. Since Brenda's there, you're going to. You know, say hi to her first, considering. Yeah, because we we know Brenda. Yeah, Brenda. Doesn't really know why. Brenda and the uh, her companions they seem to be um, having a moment of prayer right now. Okay. Um, can you ping where Brenda is? In the middle. In the middle. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to um, just say, uh, excuse me, 
excuse me, Brenda. Sorry to interrupt. This is urgent. Don't interrupt. He's praying. Um, she doesn't speak to you. She takes another like two and a half minutes to finish her prayers, and then she stands up and okay. says, "Miss, go delicately. It's good to see you. Glad to hear that uh, you and Roland and the others made it past the first round." Yeah, Roland was thrilled to see you. Um, he's cheering you on, by the way. Was he? Oh. Yeah, he was. Um, that's not why I'm here. So I needed to tell you what you all are. Well, I am privy to some information uh, that I want to tell you just to like, because I want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys win against the clan. We hate the clan. We're not fighting the clan. <laughs> yeah, fuck the clan. Oh my God. Who are they? I thought I was talking to the barbarians. It's She's not true. the barbarians. Brenda's not with the barbarians. Yeah, I, I thought you're going to the barb I thought you said barbarians too. Yeah. They're the they're in the room. same they're sharing a room the way you all are sharing a room with the Doom Raiders. Oh, okay. For okay. the record, we do all hate the clan though. I just want everybody yeah. to know. Fuck the clan. <laughs> this show does not okay. God. Um Brenda, do you um, We're fighting the Saltfire friends. I'm sorry, I think there's I'm a sorry. typo. I think they're supposed to be called the Saltfire Fiends, but someone that can't be right. That's just a silly name, right? It is a silly name, and you guys are going to kick their ass. Um, I'm sorry for the confusion. I'm really excited and really nervous uh, at the same time. And I... Uh, do you know if these barbarians speak common, or are you able to help me translate? Oh, yeah, they, they speak common. Um, Ulrich's been, uh, yeah, very, very chatty. Okay. In a good way? I think he's friendly and he thinks himself uh, to be very friendly and we're, we're focused on, you know, head in the game right now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, kick ass and we'll, uh, we'll see you after. Sounds good. Okay. And Holly Reese is going to go up to Ulrich and be like, Yo, Ulrich! Hello, my name is Ulrich. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Hello, pretty lady. Hello, Ulrich. Nice to meet you. That's that's Holly. racist. That's that's not okay, but keep <laughs> Yes. Well, my culture is not something like, for you to appropriate. I wasn't trying to, I was trying to be respectful, but okay, whatever. Um, hi. My name is Holly Rees. Um, I'm Ulrich. This is Ilrich. That's Elric. That's Ulrich. And that's Alric. Uh, Holly oh Rees. Oh my god, I didn't even brief, notice that. Brief curtsy, and she's like, nice to meet you all. Um, can I uh, talk to you for a hot sec? Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, you know you're going up against the Anvil Clan, yeah? Oh, yes, they're very famous. We're excited. Yes. Um, you guys being destroyed. barbarians, I need you to know that, one, I'm cheering you on, and you guys just need to kick their ass, and I had some information that could help you. Oh, we're listening. You, Do you want something I'm... for this information? What do you have? Oh, my God. <laughs> what Where's is the go? information? Um, and then Holly Reeves is going to go into the history of everything that you divulged earlier. Um, he says, well, I think that Elric might be a little nervous, but Elric and Alric have a plan. I think, I think uh, we, we appreciate the information. Uh, but yeah, Clan Anvil, we, we know them. We, we've heard of them. Uh, uh, I think it'll be a good match. Okay, cool. What's, um, do you guys have like a cheer or something that you do? To like yeah. get your head in the game, well, then Holly Reese is gonna join in on this like, cheer with them and hope for the best. I was hoping I could like give them something else, but I don't think I can. I don't think I have anything. Yeah. Okay. Um. They do their cheer. Just remember, you get knocked down, but you get up again. Ain't <laughs> nothing ever gonna keep you down. I, I like it. Episode. I hate this episode. <laughs> 
Um, I think she should totally. Th- what they they get in a circle, um, and they they uh, shout to themselves um, in bothy, so you don't understand it. Um, okay. But um, Elric's very helpful. He translates to you. They're basically saying sword time, axe time, um, shields are splintered over and over again, kind of getting themselves hyped up. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Get on up. It's Paul both Mary's like lets out like a. <laughs> at the end of it and then she goes back to uh to you all awesome um so that's kind of alu and holly reese's activities um does anyone want to do anything else before the next match starts no all right time to go no, i think yeah oh yeah or Roland's, Roland's gonna stay in his own head he's not gonna he's he's tunnel vision right now yeah, so it's a- yeah. I'm gonna start just doing a little maintenance on the armor and just do a little. Tune yeah. Before we go. So again, everyone has had time for their short rest. Um, where did mm-hmm. Alu go? All of my scary magic magic sword goes. require attunement. I'm assuming it doesn't. Hey Nate, what do you think? No, down. it doesn't. Okay. Well, even if you did, you'd, you'd have a you have the short rest to do it. That's about an hour. Yeah. Yeah, Nate, I'm down five hit points. You think I should use a hit die? I got D10, uh, D8s. What are D10s? D8s. Uh, I think uh, who, I we're, play, we're playing the bandits. I wouldn't think I wouldn't worry about it right now. All right, cool. Uh, Let it roll. Watch us get smoked. Of course. Then again, <laughs> I tend I tend to heal in people's faces or not at all. Ask Ian. Yeah. So, so um, you yeah. all the guards come up and pull you over into um, the the area. They say, all right, it's it's about time for your match to start. Um, you can assume the same thing is happening um for uh the troll crag bandits and then you hear like the announcements have been going on and then you hear a large booming voice um over the audience the audience quiets down uh wilhelm shouts out to everyone uh the next match is about to start everyone uh put your hands together first we have uh max's mad mythic mercenaries uh First of their number is a man who puts bros and hoes before foes. The man from Waterdeep will roll you six feet deep. It's Roland Jittero. Uh, Roland, when your name calls out, what are you doing? Uh, the guards kind of usher you to go up. Um, honestly, uh, Roland's not one for pomp and ceremony, so he's just going to uh, pick up his glaive and be like, all right, see you guys out there. And he's going to jog on up. Whether you're a Seaward Scholar or a Dockward Brawler, she'll help those in need from afar. It's Our Lady of Shadow and Light, Alu Drakar. Oh. I like you're in for Very like, good. Yeah, very nice. So Alu, again, very like Roland, not like one for the spotlight. Mm-hmm. She'd probably um, head out maybe tip her hat and take her position wherever she's allowed to. I'm not sure. Absolutely. You- I, I put you over in the arena. You can move one square in any direction from where you are to deploy yourself. All right. I probably would. I move. will step can I go up diagonal? one. Oh, well, Roland, you are, you oh, are as far up as you can be. Okay. Well, in that case, he's just going to flip his glaive yeah. over, stick it in the ground, and start surveying the, the arena for different stuff. Yeah. I really hope when he gets to me, he just says, and Fen. Off like a rocket, he makes mechanical wonders tick. Protecting the City of Splendors is Sprocket. Three feet of valor stands Spev Spacklestick. I like yeah. It. Oh, I was so, really thinking you were going to say huge dick or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I am going to run out there and, like, try to, like, ramp up the crowd and, like, deploy my armor as soon as I go out. But it's like, not as cool as I think is in my head. Like it pops out. It kind of goes mostly there, but I'm still have to like connect little buckles and straps. So I just as I kind of like stumble uh, assembling my armor into the arena, and I'll move up next to my friend Roland. Awesome. She refreshes those around her like a gentle breeze, but has the power to set you aflame with the greatest of ease. So tread lightly, go delicately. If you wish to speak to Our Lady Holly, it's Holly Rees. Go delicately. All right, and Holly Rees runs out, and she's going to use uh, Gus on herself, the cantrip, to, like, make her clothing billow. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I like it. Nice. How she runs, and then she's also gonna like give a little wink to to Wilhelm as she passes by. I like it. Um, he he gives you a wave. Um, the, when you step out, uh, you like Spev kind of built up the audience a little bit. When you step out and you do your flourish, like they seem to to get even more amped up. Um, okay. Then you hear Wilhelm say, "He's come out of his glen to avenge his wife's death so barbaric." He'll butcher oh, yeah. you while staying zen. It's the wood elf, not a drow, Fen Merrick. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. It's better than just Fen, I guess. Uh, Fen's, Fen's, Fen's going to hot dog this one, guys. Do he's it. walking into the stadium. He's doing this. <laughs> so so do that. Uh, give yeah, me, give me a performance check. Fuck, I got like a native eight on that um, shit. Well, give it to me using... Uh, Actually, you know what? Give me an acrobatics check if you're if you're trying to like show off Thank if you're hot dogging it. So much better. All right, I got a plus five on that shit. Come on, fan, don't rip, fail. All right. Hey. hey. Okay. So uh, you get out there and the crowd goes nuts. Um, while you get out there, um, Wilhelm says, uh, "Don't worry, ladies. He's still single." Um, you see that you actually have a cheering still section. Dead, he's ready to mingle. Yeah, yeah. His wife's still super dead. <laughs> um, <Right. laughs> you actually have a cheering section. Uh, it's a couple of the ladies that you recognize from the night before. Yeah, it's um, the right, before it's gotten out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, the, the crowd seems to be really enjoying it. Um, then uh, Wilhelm, uh, he gets lifted up onto a platform um up above you all and he he says um uh and then on to the north we have uh another set of new challengers for this season uh this is the troll crag not bandits uh do you hear that city watch they are not bandits um and they come out uh, maybe looking a little grumpy that they didn't get personalized introductions <laughs> uh Al- Alu, since you can read lips, you can clearly see that um, Bluster is telling Wilhelm to go fuck himself. Um, uh, just point of order. Yeah. I think I deserve a point of inspiration since I'm getting cheered by all the hot chicks. I feel you, like that's Do fair. you not have a point of inspiration already? I thought you... Oh, do I? Yeah, then, no, yeah, take... No, have inspiration. Is it red or is it not red? So, if, if you have I it, say you should... S- Bev, Spev, Holly, and Fen all get points of inspirations for their their uh, intros. Thank you. Nice job, guys. You're welcome, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> um, so wait, is it red though? It should is, be. Yeah, you should have the red symbol in it if you have it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I thought it was roll. the opposite of someone asking at the end of class, "Hey, you forgot to assign us homework." Yeah. 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 Um, Don't forget the pizza party next Friday. The um, wizards and um, members of the order of the Watchful Order around you, they've, uh, they're have they working on their runes. You can see a shimmering uh, light, almost like the whole building's wreathed in green flame above you. The are only going to try and hit Harry. No. Yeah, to keep it. it essentially, you think that the no death, uh, the, the death ward is, yeah. is activated. Um, and, uh, Wilhelm says, remember everyone, there's only one rule. He does like a huge line of Chardolin infused stuff powder and says, there are no rules. Uh, the crowd goes nuts and everyone let's roll me some initiative. Remember if you click on your character and roll initiative, then they automatically get added to the turn order. Unlike whoever just did that. That was me (laughs) because it says initiative on my beyond 20. Yeah, yeah, you always say click on the character, but I never see it on my character. No, yeah, how do I click roll initiative? So character? like yeah. click your token, yeah. Spev, yeah. for example. Yeah. Select your token in roll twenty. Mm-hmm. Now yep. in in your D D Beyond sheet, uh hit in the initiative uh, button. Oh what? And look, you're added right there. What 20. the hell? Holy sh- witchcraft. Okay, cool. Um Alu, you <laughs> rolled a twelve <laughs> before the five, so you get the twelve. Um, Holly Reeves, you got a three. Fen, yeah, uh, you haven't rolled it. yours yet, right? 
I did, but it didn't still work. Put Alu higher than me, which is weird. I, I, I haven't. I haven't organized it yet. I haven't sorted. Cool. Fucking front line boys, look at us go, Nate. Mm-hmm. We're Let's gonna need this. it. I need yep. to roll my initiative over here. Bev, you and I are gonna hold the line. Alu, look for flanks. Watch your two on ones. Fen, are you gonna rush? Watch em? for weak spots. Start picking off the people who are gonna give us trouble. Uh, Holly, there. try not to blow the place up. Sorry, I don't know why my. Didn't roll at all. You can also roll it in in roll twenty if if you're still having issues with D and D Beyond and all that stuff. Bluster gets a plus. Yep. He's the dungeon master. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry. Best I don't strategize when he's not here. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm good. Nate, help me with D and D strats because typically in video games you want to focus down the weak boys and the. Mm -hmm. Range boys first before the big boys. Yeah, so that, that holds true in D and D too. Uh, yeah, so what's probably going to happen is if we can figure out what class each of these guys are, that's going to determine who we're going to fight first. Uh, you're going to be hot, like either super long range or excellent mobility, depending on which spell you're going to go with. I would choose. I would find out who the caster is, especially if they're a bard. Take them out because all they're going to do is make everybody better. Bluster is the bard. Go after Shoot Bluster the first, then. Because that guy needs to go down, and then any other spellcaster after that. I can handle the, you know, Sprocket and I can handle the melee boys. We'll be fine. Yeah. I can go range, too. Roland, uh, yeah. the, the uh, a, a firework shoots up uh, from Wilhelm's platform, marking the start of the, the match, and you are first. All right, cool. Um, right behind you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Aaron, I'm still not in the initiative order. I rolled a 17. Oh, sorry. My tiny legs. Let me I'm add you. Yeah. Mm. I miss Rassel. Wow. Sort by descending. Um, I know there are some ties. Let me sort those real quick. Uh, Fen, you are definitely ahead of Orpheus. What is your plus... Uh, what is your dexterity modifier? Three. F Three. Okay, so you're now. ahead of Orpheus pack. and Priscilla. Um, Alu, you beat Bluster. Okay, we're good. Yeah. yeah so Roland, you're up first. All right. Um, I said, don't go to the open ground. Stick to the sides. Find cover. Then and Alu, you're going to be our point pinpoint people. Rocket, you're with me. All right, and then he is going to not charge across the field. He is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and he's going to start running around the edge. Yes. Um, let's see, and since I'm not going to be attacking no matter what, I'm going to go, I'm going to use the dash action and go again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick right here. Absolutely. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. all testing to see how far. At maximum, yeah. well, Alu, you might be able to go more than everybody else because you can do cunning action, but the rest of us are probably gonna have to uh, get there in like two turns or so. Um, if that's your turn, then Sprocket, you're up. Ah, fuck it. I don't have my musket. Um, I'm going to uh, just start. Why don't you have your musket? Yeah. Uh, because I, I moved my infusion over to the pistol, so I can use the pistol uh, and the shield. Uh, so, and now it's just a regular musket, which isn't like I don't have any ammo for it. So uh, okay, that one's left behind. I, I I didn't realize this would be such a big arena. So I'm going to go ahead and use my powerful 25 feet of movement to get me right over. Actually... Oh, this map is huge. Um, it's really big. I mean, it's yeah. I I'm afraid it's a death trap if I need to go in the middle. Well, we're we're, we're like 110 feet away from these fools, right? Yeah. Straight across, yeah. How are yeah. you doing that line for? If you oh, go if on you the go left the, side, the there's yeah. the fourth icon, I think. Yeah, or maybe the, the third it's, icon it's for you. With, uh, it's a circle with what looks to be a, a yardstick or a ruler sticking out of it at an angle. Got it. That that will let you. 
you can also choose like do you want to snap to a corner snap to center i i typically will snap to center okay so i i feel like when it's like in alien invader space invaders oh i'm so sorry you guys had to watch all of those uh things um okay cool I got a monk that movement is nothing to him, but I got to actually count for this shit. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I can move 25 feet forward to this approximate area, uh, and I think I'm within 90 feet of... Yeah, I'm within 90 feet of their leader. Um, so I'm just going to pull out my pull out my handgun and just do a Hail Mary shot at disadvantage and just sort of just send one flying. I just kind of want to tell them they're not touch. They're, they're still touchable from across there, so I'm going to take a like, shot. Hello, you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, just just a little like, hey, I really should figure out these things off the air. That was the first attack, right. and so the second attack is going to be... 11. Who are you targeting? <laughs> I'm, I think that first guy is the only one or in my range. Or the middle one? Uh, you, you, you fire your shot. Um, the bullet grazes his armor, but he's fine. Okay, cool. And for my... Bonus action. I'm going to go ahead and deploy my uh, uh, my minicon and send them over to Roland. Awesome. Oh, what does that do? Uh, I, I would be like, hey, just grab him, take it with you. All right. Cool. So, like, I don't know where that token is, but we can figure it out. What What did he hand off? His my, minicon. My my uh, homunculus. Oh, uh, gotcha. I'll I'll add it real quick. Cool. And I think between its movement and, my, and what I can do for it, it should be able to get over to Roland. Zoop. And then yep. uh, now hey, it is Sod's turn. And Sod, Sod is in the back. He sees what y'all are doing. Um, and he likes himself some of that. Um, so what he we're going to do some of that, huh? here... That sounds Totally wrong. Is Sod's gonna come behind this pillar? He's gonna do a certain thing. Gross. Uh oh. <laughs> and then we're going. Where did he move? Behind the pillar. Yeah, I just don't see him. So yeah, he disappeared. Is he invisible now? That's oh weird. shit! He's a rogue. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Oh, uh, good luck. Okay. Um, All right. Then as the, uh, let me check that distance. Okay, so we can. All right. Um, then Fen, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I am all the way down here. Initiate this... Operation Rushdown. Yeah. All right. So you weren't here, but I think our plan is I'm going to move. Both with my movement action and my what would normally be attack action, and yeah. move it right here instead. So that's two actions to get all the way sixty feet over here behind this pillar. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my bonus action will simply be to cast Hunter's Mark on our little fiddler boy back here, the the bard boy. Absolutely, that he's ninety feet away. Maximum range. Yeah. Uh, Fen, what color are you? You are blue. Your Hunter's Mark is blue. Whoa. Awesome. That's it. I'm done. All right. Uh, with that being done, it is Priscilla's turn. Uh, and you are... I think she's going to move 30 feet this way. And does she have any line of sight on Fen? No, she's she's pretty well blocked. I'd say that you have three quarters. Three quarters cover. She there's a chance she can thread an, an arrow between the pillars and get to you, um, but that is that is very tough. Um, yep. And you are ninety feet away, so odds are this doesn't do anything. But uh, so. She pulls out her short bow. Yeah. So Finn and I both have an AC of 16, which so means... 21 to hit, 21. and she's going to try and do it with disadvantage. Sorry. Well, that's a crit. Okay. 
Uh, she gets a plus what to hit? Okay, so she does hit you, Fen. You don't get critted, though. The, the, you're out of range, so she's not able to crit you. Um, you take... Um, 38 damage. No, 5 <laughs> damage. And um, you need to give me a strength saving throw. You take 5 damage, and you need to give me a strength saving strength throw. Strength saving throw? What the fuck? Okay, uh... Where the fuck is that? Is that so? You, your... you should be proficient with this. So yeah, it'll be your strength modifier plus probably a proficiency. A plus four. You you see it on your character right. sheet. The plus four. Yeah. Or actually no, plus six. Plus six yeah. for you. I'm sure change my ass. Jesus, I need every little help I can get, man. Come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here comes. Thank God. Hey. Okay. Um, you made it. You're fine. Um, you you get hit by this arrow and vines erupt from it. Oh, she's a ranger. Okay, she's that ranger. Got it. S going around you, but you're able to break yourself free from the Ooh, vines, so you're okay. Versus a lame ranger. Um, and you took five damage. No, she's just doubled down on her on her archery. Is what's happened. Yeah. Great. All right, then it is Orpheus's turn. Um, Orpheus sees what's going on here. He, uh, what's that range? Let's see. Got it. <laughs> cool. Um, he is, is gonna duck behind this little barricade. Um, he pops up and I believe now it is only, oh, it's, Barely enough. Okay, in that case, he's going to come up front in front of the barricade, um, firing a short bow at you. Uh, that's not going to hit. Um, arrow goes wide, and then um, he still has some movement left. Oh, that was only 15. Yeah. He'll duck behind the barricade, um, and then... Uh, Cameron, he disappeared. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, that's anyway, right Alu, it's your turn. <laughs> so, this is a question Fuck. I have, like, for me before. Like, uh, so Ooh. my psychic whispers only works on characters I can see, but yes. Alu wanted to like cast psychic whispers on Sod before he disappeared, but I had to wait. Can I no longer do that, or can I? Assume that she did it before he disappeared. No, you, you like, you, he disappeared before you had a chance to do it. That's, that's kind of what the initiative order tracks. And you have a passive perception of 21, but he still disappeared from perspective of you. Okay. Right, so you kind of saw know. him, you saw him duck behind the pillar and then you just didn't see him pop up again. Got it. We have your turn to that. get in a cover. I'd say that one. Right there. Right uh, behind, yeah, the pillar. Okay. i go there. Yep. I think that's all she can do, because she's your action and her bonus action, basically. No, her movement and her bonus action. You can still attack. That's the oh. whole point of cutting action. Yes, you yeah. can. You can still nice. take your regular okay. action. Yeah. If you have anything that can reach you. them. I think I, I might. I didn't check. Uh, nope. Your um, daggers have a range of 60 feet. Yeah, so I know. So can't quite reach anyone you can see right now. Correct. That's Ollie. Okay, then it's Bluster's turn. Um, first thing he's going to do is he's behind someone and he's a halfling. He's going to try and hide himself. Um, he does not beat... Alu's passive perception or Fens. I don't believe he... No, he beats Roland's. But yeah, so Alu and Fen, you were able to keep an eye on Bluster. Um, and with your ability to coordinate, I'd say that he's not hidden from anyone. Um, and I think he, what, if he's trying to hide, right, Fen, since you've Hunter's marked him, he rolls with disadvantage anyway? Uh, no, just no, Fen has, has advantage on finding him. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Um, then he will um, put his hand on um, Neela's back. Um, or actually, he'll put his, he'll he'll run over here um, and put his hand next to Priscilla and whisper something in her ear. Given her inspiration. Yeah, so we gotta take him out. Um, that'll be it for his turn. Then Neela, um, Neela sees what's going on. Um, she is gonna duck behind this column and hunker down. Uh, or that, that little, uh, barricade and hunker down. Then Holly reads, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I, I wanna, I can move up to 30 right. feet, correct? Yes. Okay. So I want to move up to 30 feet. And then I also, if I can do a, if I can do a bonus action, I'd like to cast um, Misty Step on myself and then teleport another 30 feet to an unoccupied space. Yeah, Misty Step lets you do it as a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I... Here, I can, I can measure for you if you want to move... So 30 feet gets you here. Yep. And then um, I'll cast Misty Step. Where do you want to go? Um, I wanted to go either close to this column or behind here. You can go, yeah, behind the column. Yeah, right there. Sweet. Go there. Yep. And that's my... Hold on. It's your movement and your bonus action. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. That's all that I'm going to do for right now. I just uh, wanted to get out of the open. So if you, since since that's a second level spell, you can still cast a cantrip if you want as your action, if you if there's anything you wanted to do. Well. Do you have any bit damaging cantrips? I do. Um, but I need to, the question is, can I, the, the farthest one I can go is up to 60 feet. Oh, okay. Then yeah, you're not quite in range yet. Well, I don't yet. know that I can see anyone yeah. yet within range. I was trying to get within range. Oh wait, yeah. can we get her. Can um, we get Neela? You're like five feet short. Okay, then I'll wait. All right. I'll wait for right now. Then Roland, you're back up. All right. I thought about it. I'm going to do this. Um, all right. Uh, Monculus is attached to me now. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, it kind of lands so, on you. All right. So if that's the case, I'm going to, yep, I'm going to burn it now. All right, so I'm going to run. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yep, okay. Lord of mercy. Um, so action, uh, well, sorry, movement action for 30 feet. Yes. Dash, at, dash with my actual action for, um, for 30 more. Yep. Um, take yourself across the path. Um, let me see kind of where you're. Okay. So, uh, first one is going to be, we're going to go what to here, maybe. Sure yeah, thing. I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No worries there. Yep. All right. And then that's my normal movement. Um, next one is my dash action. One, two, three, four, yep. five, six. Yep. No problems. Action surge. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you, you, you were able to move without getting in range of Neela, right? Yeah. I guess like I, you, I don't think you had enough movement to go on this side of the pillar and you're not climbing the pillar. So I think you had to at least go through this square. Okay. If that's the case and I can sit, I can sit right there. I don't care. Okay. Um, um, when you get into range of her, she was holding her action. She's going to make an attack on you. She's holding her action. The off chance somebody gets next to her. Well, she okay. she's, didn't have anything else going on. Right. Okay. Uh, I, a 15 does not hit you. No, so it doesn't. Good. Yep. All right. 
Um, let's see. I think... Yeah, I think that was it for me. Because I think okay. your your action surge doesn't doesn't give you an extra movement. It gives you an extra action, I think. And that, I use that to dash. So I think I'm good. All right. Spev, you're up. All right, cool. So I am going to, uh, I think, keep moving along with Alu because there's no way I can keep up with that. So I'm just going to move a big, mean 25 feet up to the start of here. Yes. Um, and is it, do I have any idea where the other guys might be? Give me a perception check. Love to, but shabam. Uh, no, seven. you don't. No, no absolutely not. Um, cool. Well, I am going to uh, pretend like I know where they are, and can I just take a shot with disadvantage in the general cover area back there? Oh, oh no, I didn't. I didn't do it on my turn. Never mind then. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, oh, no, never mind. I didn't. Know ping. Yeah. Ping. Where you're aiming for? Uh, just in the yeah, that area. Can okay. I... Yes. Make a shot with disadvantage. Cool. 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 Um. Ba ba ba. First one, second one. Uh, you fire true <laughs> exactly where you were aiming. Uh, you don't hit anything. All right, cool. I perfect. All right, sweet. Um, and then for my bonus action, I am going to use. Uh, I'm actually just gonna do, uh, use my bonus action to. Homunculus is kind of weird. I can I can use that to give it another action. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, use my bonus action to make it do a forced action on its turn, but I'm also going to move it behind this guy, moving into flanking with Roland, and I'm just going to do it a little try kind of a uh, little whack on this guy. Sure thing. All um, right. Okay. Eleven. Wait. Am I flanking with Roland though? <laughs> um, yeah, you are technically. I think that's cool. how I rolled in the past, so you get advantage. Awesome. This is mostly to help him out, but yeah, okay, you hit. Okay. You do hit. Cool. Uh, what is it? One d four plus two. One d four. Just roll that for me and save us all some time. Yeah. Plus two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Three, Three damage. damage. Awesome. The important things. I'm flanking. Go to town, Roland. All right. Um, anything else on your turn? Nope. Great. Then it is Sod's turn. Sod's got to make his stealth check. And I got to beat a 21 to stay hidden from Alu. We'll see how this goes. 21. He is a little stealthy. Does she see his footprints in the sand of the arena? No, you, you, um, what you see in the corner of your eye is a blur as a club swings at you. Oh, awesome. Oh, let me pop him back up. Um, and this is a sneak attack. Asshole. 16, does that hit Alu? Yes. Fuck. Uh, so then it is 1d4 plus 1 plus another d6. Great. This is going to be beautiful. Uh, 3 plus 4, 7. You take 7 bludgeoning damage from this club. Then um, he doesn't get to do anything else because he had to use his cunning action to get there. All right. Um... That is it for Sod's turn. Fen, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, clarify this for me. Is this boy over here, this douchebag bard, is he hidden? Am I not able to see He's him? not hidden. You know where he is. He Right now, from you, he's, he's just... in full cover because he's a halfling, kind of pinned himself mm -hmm. against the wall. I have no line of sight. You need to change your angle of attack. Yeah, yeah. You, you can get line of sight if you change your angle. Right. Uh, can I ask a question? Should I? Can I? No, I you can't to, ask questions. If I were to go to the top of this column, would I have line of sight, or do I need to move to this column to get line of sight? Meaning, um, meaning on top of. 
So on top of the column, the column is that he's hiding behind is just as tall as the column you're on. So I think the like that angle wouldn't be perfect. Let me, um, I would say to clear out if you come over, you could be like behind this column and get a, a shot on him. Um, yeah. Oh God, this is stupid. Well, that doesn't mean you can't also just move there and then take a shot at this one. Sure. I could. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, she's in half cover because she's tall. Okay. Uh, then what I'm actually going to do is no. I'm not going to move there. I'm going to, because I don't have line of sight to Neela either right now. So what I'm actually going to do, I think, would make sense is to just come out of cover here. Right? So I'll have line of sight now. Yep. Now... How does movement work? If, if can I do I, I you can break it up. If you want to move some yeah. distance, attack and then move again, you can absolutely yeah, do that. That's what I want to know. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, then I'm gonna use my longbow without uh, any spells on this person and just try to shoot her in the ass over here. Well, what you could do is bonus action move your hunter's mark to her for the time being, and then next you turn move it. Yeah, yeah as a bonus action, it. you can move your hunter's mark. Right, but wouldn't yeah. I then have to be within ninety feet of? Bluster again if I want to move it back to him. Uh, I believe so, but if you're going to be moving up anyway, yeah, if you're making your way over, it may not be a huge concern. I mean, I think he's still within ninety feet of you right now, anyway. Okay, well then I might as well use that bonus action, shouldn't I? Because I don't know what else yeah. I'm going to use it for. Yeah, all right. Bonus sure action. thing. Bonus Next action. Nila. Hunter's mark is on Neela. Okay, great. Uh, that means I'm going to shoot with my. Why is my why is my longbow not not equipped? What the hell? I didn't unequip that. Well, it was the first thing you used anyway, so I think we'll take your word for it. So that's oh. you're using it. Shit. Where the fuck? <laughs> Why don't I? Why don't I... do I even have it? Yeah, I have it. Good. Okay. Is it equipped now? Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. This is always equipped. I never intended to this to not be <laughs> equipped. All right. I think maybe uh, if you equipped your sword, it unequipped it, but I don't know. Maybe that might be it. Okay, so that's a twenty plus seven. I have plus seven on this to hit. Uh, you rolled a twenty-seven. Yeah, you hit. No, I'm rolling it now. Oh no, I rolled a goddamn you nine. Don't hit. I'm gonna miss. Okay. Fuck. Good turn. Good turn, guys. Uh, I'm right. gonna go back in the cover because motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where's the best spot for cover here? Probably. You could uh, use the rest of your turn to like move up. And that still oh. puts you in cover to, to the majority of it. Yeah, you'll get closer. Um, you know, the advantage That's of even yeah. Fair enough. It'll get you into a better position for your. Well, a, it allows him to move his hunter's mark more readily. I suppose it'll save me if I have to move again. I'll just stay right here behind Holly Reese. Holly Reese will protect me. She's way tougher than I am. <laughs> All right, I'm done. That was a waste of a turn. All right, um, Roland, with your position, um, mm -hmm. Neela, um, you see now that you're closer, she chants something. She draws her arrow at you. Sorry, not Neela, uh, Priscilla. Um, and Priscilla fires a shot right in your face. 17 hits your AC. That, that hits. Um, you need to make a strength saving throw. Okay. 16. You make it. Uh, you are not ensnared. You take four points of damage. Okay. Piercing. Cool. Um, with you being where you are, um, is Priscilla going to try and move? Uh, she, I think she will. She's going to move up behind this pillar. Um, all right. Then it is Orpheus's turn. Uh, and Orpheus uh, needs to roll stealth. Um, that doesn't beat Alu's, but it does beat yours, Roland. Um, so Alu, you're in combat with Saad. Um, out of the corner of the eye, you see some movement to the north. Um, and then this guy is going to pop out. Oh, uh, great. Orpheus? Yeah. Um, and 
he is going to stab his short sword into your side, Roland, and you are flanked. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh, that hits. Uh, you take 2d6 because he crit, and then it's sneak attack. Another. Do you <laughs> crit on sneak attack dice? I don't yeah. play a row. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All, all dice are doubled. So that's his sneak attack dice is 3d6. So that's total of 8d6. Oh, um, if that is the case, he needs to actually, before that happens... Yeah. No, it's it's sneak attack. I wouldn't have it. He, yeah. I was going to say, as Polar Master, once he enters my field, I can hit him. But if he's That's an object you can see, there. right? Yeah. Yeah, it must be. Otherwise, that doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, that's not There's bad. No alert. Um... Six plus one plus one plus three is eleven, and then, um, yeah, he rolled some ones here. Um, eleven, thirteen plus twenty. You take twenty damage. Twenty damage. Fuck yes. me. He gets his sword right into your side. Um, okay. Anyone else getting a bad feeling here? Yeah. Then, Ali, yeah. it's your turn. I, it feels familiar. like there's a sword in my side. Well, feeling very familiar. It, one member of the team is doing a 3v1 right now, so, you know, mm-hmm. I can't it's imagine that goes well in most cases. That true. I tried to hit that motherfucker too. <laughs> Ali, so feel free to get up here. It's your turn. Question? Yes. For me. When it comes to my psychic daggers, I assume nobody knows that I throw them when... I use them. Yeah, you're like making like cool knife motion kind of thing, and they're like projecting from your hands, and they're like invisible. I still is have that to actually throw them? So this is the question, because to me, to my mind, when I think about them, I think that Alu just decides you're gonna get stabbed, motherfucker, and they get stabbed, but she doesn't actually do anything. That's uh... how I think of it. I'm asking how you think of it. I think I think if that's the way you think of it, I like that, and let's go with that. She's like projecting a dagger from her mind. Staring daggers at oh me. yeah, yeah, you're staring daggers at people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I love it. I love it. Keep going. Okay, so I am going to psychic dagger stab. You get uh, for that awesome description, Alu. Get a point of inspiration. Love inspiration. Okay, so. Who are you? Who are you staring daggers into? I Stod, who yes, because he's an asshole. Yep. Want to make sure I just get the right one. Okay, so did that actually roll? Yeah, it did. A fifteen. That Holy crap! Um, the eight didn't hit. The the action. Uh, the 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 main hand doesn't hit. But the 15 hits. Oh, wait. What? I only clicked it once. So why did it roll twice? Uh, I'm not sure. Nah. I already think roll 20 is just being weird today. Okay. So um, go with the 8 because I don't want to do it twice because I actually want to disengage. Oh, Uh, okay. Okay. So then, yeah. um, You, you, yeah, you you throw a psychic dagger at him. He doesn't notice it. Uh, Then as your bonus action, you're choosing to disengage. Yeah, so gotcha. I want to um, move. So hold on, I got it. Look. So I want to move up here, and I actually want to see if I can kind of like get up. Actually, 20, 20, if the pull's 20 feet, then that's like a. I'll let you roll an acrobatics effort. check to see if you can like spring up to shorten that distance instead of just. Like moving entirely horizontally and then vertically, yeah, nineteen. Yeah, you're able to scramble up to the top of that column. Okay, so I am not only out of his immediate vicinity, I am out of immediate danger from any more of his fucking sneak attacks. And I will also take the opportunity as I'm like jetting it out of there to be like, Sprocket, beware of Sod. He's a motherfucker who disappears. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry. Awesome. I'll just- then uh, it's Bluster's turn. Um, Bluster uh, looks at you, Roland, and he's like, look at you. All alone. Pathetic. Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. 
Oh, good. That's my best ones. Hey! Oh, uh, you're fine. Um, well, you don't let him get under your skin. Like, that's where you're wrong, Bluster. I've got a flying hamster with me. Um, and then he, he looks to Neela and he says, Neela, you can fuck this guy up, and I know you're gonna fuck this guy up. And she gets a little point of inspiration. Um, he's not gonna move, because I think he's still trying to stay hidden away from the guy with the uh, bow and arrow. Um, all right. Neela's turn. Um, I think she's gonna try and put you down as best she can. Um, first attack with the short sword. Uh, 17 to hit. Yep. You take three piercing damage. Okay. Then she's going to action surge. Second attack with a short sword. Um, 10, 12 is not going to hit. She's going to attempt uh, to add that bardic inspiration. Oh, it is Bases, a d6. Base, yeah. yeah okay, so it's a 12. So she needs to roll, what, a four or higher to hit you? Yep. Much. Uh, she it's does hit you. All right. How much? Two damage. Okay. She's used her inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think um, she's going to stay where she's at as well. Uh, Holly Reese, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to move to the other side of that pillar. So that's 30 feet. Okay, and I want to use um, suggest, suggestion. I want to cast suggestion on this girl yes okay so and i'm gonna say leave the arena and tell the announcer that you wish you and your team wish to forfeit so I think suggestion has to be a reasonable request. That is right? a reasonable request. <laughs> it sounds the only reasonable thing to me. that I am not allowed to say is I cannot ask a creature to stab itself, throw itself onto a spear, emulate itself, or do some other obviously harmful act. Right, but like if her goal is to win this match, forfeiting is a harmful act to her goal. I, 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 I like the idea of suggestion. Give me a little more creative spin on it. Okay. These aren't the droids you're looking for. I want going her for. to leave the arena. Okay. So what would your suggestion be? Hide in the crowd. Um... Your, go find your, your lover. He's waiting for you in the crowd. I saw him kissing some other woman. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do two things. One, I'm going to roll a d20. If I get an 11 or higher, she has a lover that you could convince her on. Then she's going to roll her wisdom saving throw. Okay, she does have a lover, so that is a reasonable request. Um, here is the wisdom save. Uh, she fails it. Okay, on her next turn, she is going to go look for her lover in the crowd. <laughs> Anything else on your turn? Okay. Um, yes, hold on. Oh, I want to do... I can do that up to 60 feet. I want to um, cast uh, the cantrip Told the Dead on... Uh, Neela? Yeah? Yes. Bluster? Bluster? He's, 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 this is Bluster. Who has the hunter's mark? Neela. Neela does oh, yeah. right now. Okay. I want to cast it on Bluster. Okay. 
How many feet is that? That's he's in range. Okay, great. Okay. And he needs to make a wisdom saving throw as well. Of one d eight, or no, he has to make a wisdom saving throw of fourteen or higher. Otherwise, he takes one d eight necrotic damage. He does make the save. So nothing. Damn it. But hey, it's an attack. Um, okay. All right. I'm done. Roland, it's your turn. All right. First things first. I'm the uh, realist. Oh. It's a short, or not short rest. Uh, second wind. Yes. We are the lamest fellowship. Cameron, was Bluff All right. So any... it's seven. I couldn't catch all of that. Was he missing any hit points? No. no. Okay. That's Nobody why I thought been... you were targeting Neela. I was going to say, I don't think anyone on the other team has been hit so far. Neela's been hit. hit. Neela's been, been. I hit Neela. Oh, yeah. Neela's hit. Neela's hit, and so is Sod. Hit her. Right. Uh, Sod isn't missing any hit points yet. Okay. All right. Well, I uh, healed uh, for seven HP. Uh, Sprocket's yes. up to you for next step. Um, I am going to attack Neela because I've got her flanked. Yes. Um, well, first thing is, um, I, I know no because then he gets a he gets a freaking hit on me. Never mind. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to stay flanked. This is not a great place for me to be. But um, I was worried about that too. Oh well. Uh, we are going to attack with my glaive. Yes. And I get advantage with it. Thank God. Yep. Oh, uh, a twenty-one hit. Um. Yeah. And, and then, then you I deal do, fourteen. I did, I did well. I also want to do a distracting strike with that. Yes. Um. So that's going to be. That's uh, sorry. That red rolls all four dice at once. Why? <laughs> Why does it? Do, I'm just gonna throw a d8 in, in this. Never mind. Fucking weird. All right. Uh, so 14, 17 damage to her, and then the distracting strike is, I believe, next person attacks her has advantage. Awesome. So, uh, we'll oh, note we that. that. Say she is distracted. Um, and, uh, she looks very badly hurt at this point. Cool. Um, that's it for my turn. All right, then Spev, you're up. Cool. Uh, so then for my turn, I'm going to start off by using my meager 25 feet of movement. To oh, you don't want to attack Sod, who's behind you? Nope. No, he wants to bail out the guy who's going to die in the next <laughs> round. Uh, I, I'm, I... I look at you, Al, who I'm like, I, I have full faith, faith and confidence that you can take care of him. Rogue v. Rogue is going to be pretty cool. Um, so start using my movement to get closer to them, and then I'm going to use uh, my um, Shocking Grasp, but I'm going to channel that through. Uh, Spindle's going to use its reaction to channel that through to try to zap uh, Neela pretty bad. Awesome. Yeah, I dig it. So, boom, first roll, and I do believe I have advantage on that. So the second yes. roll is this. Fish for a crit. You uh, do hit. Okay, I do hit. So um, it's going to be 1d8 of damage. Uh, why is... Um, did that roll. Yes. Um, you hit Neela, um, or the, the homunculus latches onto the back of her neck. Um, it's Is it thunder? It's lightning damage. Lightning, lightning damage. courses into her brain, and she falls over dead. <laughs> All right, that's getting the flank off you there, bud. Uh, she's not dead. Just pointing that out. <laughs> yeah, I'd like she it. Back. Resurrected. Over there, Cameron. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's um, they're dead, but in um, what is it called? Gentle repose. Yeah. Got it. Cool. Shut off this mortal coil. Anything right, else you're then, doing, Spev? Yeah, uh, and then for Spindle's actual turn, it's going to go ahead and do a little fly around this pillar and then come around towards the back and get up behind this other guy awesome and yeah you know what to do rolling that's my turn <laughs> all right then it yeah. is sod's turn sod's gonna use everything he's got to get over here fen it's your turn all right, what the hell happens in my hunter's mark when someone else kills kills the dude? Bonus action to move it to the next person. Yeah, you can still bonus action to move it. Yeah, it's still running in your head. Okay. So, so you're good. Um, Let's see. What do I want to do? All right, what I actually think I want to do is 
I'm gonna fuck with Sod over here. I don't think I can deal with butt bluster at the, at this point. Butt bluster? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he just Blank. called him fart. Yeah. So. Uh. So, what I want to uh, do? Close in on him. Well. Uh, so this you got a plus one sword. Fuck him up. Goes against my new strategy, but I suppose uh, sure if you're gonna goad me into it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> Roland gets on the radio and says, "Don't be a coward." Okay. Great. Uh. So then, I guess I will rush him down. Yep. Nate, if I die, this is on you, homie. That's fine. Yeah. Completely die in this. Good He's point. already hurt. You got a new sword. We're about on equal footing. Yeah. And I don't think these right. guys are uh, as high level as we are. I am moving over here. I'm using my bonus action, casting Hunter's Mark mm -hmm. on this mofo. Yes. Not casting it, but moving it. Yes. Right. right. Yeah. Moving it. Uh, and I'm going to use my long sword that is a plus seven to hit. So here we awesome. go. Awesome. Yeah, you hit. That does hit. Uh, so D10 uh, plus dex plus, plus one. Or plus, yeah, plus strength plus five. Plus, uh, plus one. Yeah, so that's. Wait. I get a D10 plus five plus whatever I get for Hunter's Mark, right? Uh, it yeah. says. And then, uh, yeah. So your so your longsword damage five. is one d ten plus five, and plus then one. your hunter's mark gives you d six. Another d six right. of the same damage. Also, are we adding in the plus one? That's factored in, right? That's factored that should, in. That should be okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's why I'm getting right. plus five in the d ten. Cool. All right, here's the d ten. Nine. Right, nine. Yep. Pretty good. D six with no modifiers coming. All right. Eleven, 11. damage. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, you you bring your sword down onto his shoulder. Um, he looks bloodied. Yeah, he looks nice. he's hurt. Nice. And he can't sneak attack you because no one else is around. Yep. Um. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. I've used my bonus action and action and a little bit of movement. I don't think I need to move again because if I move, he'll get advantage. Yes. He'll get uh, attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunity. Yep. All right. It is Priscilla's turn. Priscilla was suggested by Holly Rees. Uh, to get up in the crowd. Um, so she is going to do that. She's going to come over here. Um, awesome. She that's is... A, that's a second kill. and ranting for Olaf. Attempting to climb up, um, but she's unable to do so. Um, so she's just at the wall, but she's she's working on it. Um, then it is Orpheus's turn. Orpheus sees that he is surrounded. Um... So he is going to... I think since he sees that Roland's hurt, he's going to try and finish off someone. Um, uh, 17 hits, and it is a D6 plus 3. Uh, you take another 6 damage. Okay. That's going to be... Uh, he can... Yeah, he's going to use his cunning action to disengage. Doesn't matter. I'm going to get an attack of opportunity anyway. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Cool. Um, let's do it. Nope. 11. Uh, yeah, and then the, the homunculus does not get an attack. Uh, Orpheus is going to move over to this side of the pillar. Um, Alu, it's your turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I just want to move the one time. Whoops, sorry, I don't want to move her to yeah. the spot at which the 30 feet, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking to move 30 and get within 60 feet of Bluster. Oh, wait. You are within 60 feet of Bluster. I think okay. I, it was it was doing like a compound measurement. Got um, it. So you, you are currently within, you're 55 feet away from Bluster. Although he is, I'm going to say, he's right, not he's hiding here. directly behind that pillar, but he's in three quarters cover behind that pillar. Mm -hmm. Which means he has a plus five to his AC right now. Yep. Got it. So, if you just move up here, you have a clear line of sight for him. Can you do that again? I switched away from the... You can, you can bonus action dash, yeah, up here. Yeah. But then I can't attack. Yes, you can. No, That's you can. That's the whole point of a bonus action yeah, dash. Yeah. You bonus action to move up there, and then you use your action to attack. Mm -hmm. 
I see. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna move in it with these tools. Sorry. Here. Go yeah. for it. And I have enough. I'm close enough, right? Yes. Okay, so then I'm going to. Oh, there we go. Did I? 16 hits. Noise. Sweet. Okay. And damage. Oh. Uh, nine psychic. That's not sneak attack, though. No, I'm just counting the no. nine. Okay. It just it rolls both. Yeah. Oh, does it? Okay. You hit him. Or, or uh, your psychic blade goes from your eyes into his chest. Uh, he's hurt. And I think okay. that's your movement, bonus action, and action. So yep. then it is Bluster's turn. Um, he clutches his chest. He lets out a foul tirade. Um, and Roland, uh, he um, he curses. Um, he's going to lock eyes with you. Um, and you hear a whisper in your ear about how um, they're getting away and you're never going to be good enough to protect your friends. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, good. Come on, Roland. 15. Yeah, you're fine. Nice. Like bullshit. We're fine. And then he is gonna. Um, the bomb. I don't think he's gonna move. Um, then it. Neela is out. Holly Reese, it's your turn. Okay. Maybe kill Priscilla or somebody. Um. <laughs> or Orpheus. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move. Can you hit them from where you are? I'm gonna move here. Um, I'm gonna aim. Priscilla's okay for right now. She's busy. Um, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast magic missile. Actually, no, hold on. No, I will, um, yeah, I'll cast Magic Missile on um, Bluster. Awesome. What level? Um, I'm going to do first level just because I'm so close to him. Sure thing. And I will use the Wand of Magic Missiles for right now. Yep. Spend a charge. Cast at first level. Uh, you deal six force damage to him. Three arcs of magic come out of your wand. They slam into his face. They curve around the pillar. Um, yeah, yeah. Just smack him across the face. He looks pretty badly hurt. Anything else you want to do? Um, I want to do... I want to try um, to pull the dead on him again. Magic Missile is an action. Is, toll of the dead yeah. is a bonus? Also, or no, is an action? It's, it's yeah. an action. It's a so so you can you can cast a leveled spell and a cantrip at the same time, but that one needs to be an action and one needs to be a bonus action. Oh, okay. Then that's all I'm gonna do right now on my turn. All right. Then roll, and it's your turn. Cool. Um, I I'm gonna stay right where I'm at, and I'm gonna poke bluster with my stick. Yes. Um. Yeah. I'm going to do a. Tripping attack with him. Yep. 17 to hit? Yes, hits. Okay, uh, so he is now... Uh, well, nope. He's uh, he's going to need to make a, a save here. Yep. Um, Dexterity? I th think it is. Uh, spend... Yeah, it needs to make a strength saving throw. Strength, okay. 
Uh, it's an eleven. He fall. He's flat on his his ass now. He's uh, prone. Um, that means that and I'm going to roll the damage here. Uh, so that's a fourteen. He's not prone. He's dead. Okay. Uh, if that's the case. I'm going to still. I still have to burn my my one dice. Uh, move over. I'm going to step over the the presumable corpse of Neela here. Yeah. Bonus bonus action. Um. Uh, pole arm master uh, and attack Orpheus with the backhand with the back half to my my thing. 21, uh, 21 hit. hits. Yes. All right. Uh, that's seven bludgeoning damage. Yeah, you catch him. He takes that damage. Cool. All right. Um, that is it for my turn. All right. Then Spev, it's your turn. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm guessing Orpheus is looking pretty rough, right? Uh, Orpheus, uh, no, he's not that hurt yet. Okay, well, he's got two people closing in on him. Uh, how's Sod looking? Sod looks bloodied. Okay, uh, yeah, team up on uh, him. Uh, if anyone, if anyone wants some help over there, Ben would love some help. All right, uh, I can't hear. Yeah, I don't think we can hear you. Oh, okay, for not to die, yes. I'm expecting <laughs> for my turn, so. All right. Well, then I don't, in that think, case, I don't think he's capable of killing you in one turn. Yeah. Uh, no, well, we got to we got to get into existence, Nate. Why do you got to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think well, you're gonna survive every round. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna do my part to keep him alive for this one. I'm gonna be boring and just run up to him and take a shot with my pistol. Sure thing. Chew. He's because he is just within range. Uh, Twenty-four. Yeah, oh, that my. hits. I assume that hits. Yes. Um, and the damage is uh, nine piercing damage to that you fellow. Um, him you shoot him in the back of the head. He falls over and then gets back up. <laughs> is he an orc? He was yeah. a half orc. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, all you over to Fen. Like, all right, knock yes. him down. Yeah, Fen, all you got to do is connect and he's done. That's a um, total it is then... Sod's turn first. Mm -hmm. So we have a half orc rogue. Interesting. Um, he does not. Uh, there's no way he's going to get his sneak attack to die. Um, so he's going to just make a swing at Fen where he's standing at this point. I didn't hear no uh, 18 to hit. 1d4. Uh, real, real quick for Spindle's turn, it's going to fly behind Orpheus. Oh, sure thing. Uh, Fen, you take five damage. Okay. And then it's your turn. Actually, no. Bonus action, I think he's going to disengage uh, and then duck behind uh, this thing. And then it's your turn. Do I not get an opportunity attack? Uh, he, his he disengaged. Action, yeah, his rogue action does lets him do it as a bonus action. That's the big thing about rogues, that they can strike dis and then use a bonus action disengage without getting hit. Yeah, I don't know how that helps him. He didn't really get away from me. No, he didn't. Yeah. There was no way he could do get away from you. You have, you can either hit him, go up to him, hit him with your sword, which I would suggest. Yes. Or shoot your bow at him. Harder for me to shoot him now if he survives, though. Uh, is it my turn now? Yes. yes. Yep. All right. Oh, well, I'm just going to go. Take him I, down. I'm like, really? You moved four feet, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Flip over here. that little statue and be like, ah! yeah. uh, <laughs> Well, well, well. I'm right here in front of this guy. Um, let's see. How many other people? We've got Orpheus still alive over here. And Priscilla. Orpheus is still alive, but he's flanked yeah. now. He's not and getting away from me. This dude just got shot in the head. All right. So I'm going to actually save my planar warrior. I'm not going to use it right yeah. now. Yeah. Don't bother. Um, There's still a day of fighting. I'm do a regular sword slashing attack on this motherfucker. Uh, yeah. So well, your planar warrior is just, I mean, yeah, it, I have it's to every. Him. Yeah. Uh, but I can use that at any time, right? So, yep. So I. Use it anytime. When, can I declare that after I roll to hit? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to roll to hit first. Yes. Because it doesn't make any difference. Uh, it cool. really doesn't. Here it comes. 17. 17 does hit. Thank God for that modifier. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, that means I am hitting. Uh, I'm. You know what? I might as well use Planar Warrior because it doesn't cost me anything. Oh, yeah. Ian um, wants this. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your dice. Okay. Uh, so, D10, D6, plus five, five. Plus, yeah. So, wait. D10, D6, D8, plus five. 
Jesus, how do I get all of these in here? How can I do that? I can't do all these all at once. I was gonna say you could. There might be a way to save like advan like there's an advanced dice roller. Mm. Um, that doesn't matter. Uh, my D10 plus five. Come. Yep. Yep. Here's my D6. Mm -hmm. So seven. D6. Yep. That's and then, twelve. Um, warrior is what? A D8. <laughs> I'm gonna. He's gonna be super dead. Yeah. Like hey, even dead. even the death ward's gonna have a hard time. Be dead, dead. Yeah, so that's fifteen. No, no, sorry, it's eighteen or something like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, you manage oh, sorry, to not like outright kill him. You don't double his HP, but you get close because he was only at one. Uh, right. But he's dead. Great. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, also, uh, I'm gonna use my last. What do I, I think I have a bonus action. No, maybe I don't. But I want to teabag the motherfucker. So. <laughs> That's a free object just, interaction, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Um, Priscilla noob, is going to try and scramble up again. Uh, she's uh, not going to get up there. Uh, Alu is like, that's right. Take <laughs> um, Orpheus, I think he, he knows what's happening. He's going to disengage from Spindle um, and then come in at Roland as best he can. Um, cause he's got to put someone down. Otherwise, like, I mean, one V five is impossible here. Yeah. Um, short sword, uh, 24 to hit will hit mm -hmm. D six, uh, seven damage. Okay. Alu, it's your turn. Okay. So Alu is going to here. And because Neela is on the ground, she's not in my way, right? Right, right. Yeah, you get a clean shot at Orpheus here. Okay, so she's going to psychically. Yeah, you hit. Okay, nice. And... Now, just to help you with some rogue stuff, you rolled... But I'll let you retcon things if you want. If you wanted to use your bonus action to hide, you could um, hide and then you get your sneak attack. Wait a minute. Hang on. Yeah. I want to check something on the sneak attack there. Um, it's as long as you have advantage. Right now, she doesn't really have advantage. Sneak attack. Uh, you don't need advantage on an attack roll if an, another enemy of the target is within five feet uh, of it. That enemy is incapacitated. Let's see. Uh, once per turn... Right. Yeah, if another enemy of the target, which is me. Oh, okay. So she, so you she have your sneak her. attack damage. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. So uh, you hit and you deal. Um, holy crap! 16. You deal sixteen damage to this guy with your first attack. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want to use your bonus action at, to do another attack on him? Yeah. Stare at him with one eye. Stare at him with the other. Yeah. Right. I imagine when Alu's like throwing psychic dagger, she's like, "Yeah, no, it's like, just giving him, it's yeah. giving him the stink eye." Yeah, yeah. One side and the other. Would you like me to tell you that exactly second one like does not hit? Eye? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ian, give it to us. What's 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 Cherie's stink eye look like? I can just tell you, you'll feel it in your soul, homie. Oh, oh gotcha. <laughs> the true told the dead. Wait, are uh, you talking about my stink eye or all? Yeah. Yeah, so your stink eye. Holly sure Rees, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Now's the time to toll the dead on that motherfucker. Yeah, well, blow him up, Holly. Mm -hmm. On Orpheus? Yeah, he's hurt. All right. Did, like, disengage your problem. D8 goes to a D12. Say that again, uh, Danny. I don't know if my homunculus servant has a opportunity attack. Um, he so disengaged when he shifted yeah, over to Roland. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, cool. Awesome. I get one because I have Sentinel. Yeah. Um, Holly Rees, what are you doing? I'm going to do Toll the Dead on uh, Orpheus. Awesome. Yeah. So Wisdom he saving a... throw. Um, he rolled a six plus. Uh, he rolled a five, so he did not make his save. So he nice. needs to take Roll a d12. One d12. Yeah, click them buttons. Will it let me? It should be the one. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Five. It was that. Wait, it rolled twice. I don't know why. 
Take the four. Yep. Anything else you want to do? That's a cantrip and an action. You, if you have a leveled spell that's a bonus action, you can use that. Um. Yeah. I want to... I don't want to... Hollier's is being nice. I don't want to kill him. Why? But Yeah, why? Okay, I'll kill him. Kill him. Do you have the method, a means of doing so? Yeah, I mean, I can do magic missile. That's mm -mm. Cool. Magic missile's no, an action. That's an action. Oh. I was wondering if you had, like, I don't no, think you have the means of attacking him again. No, I don't. All right. Uh, then, Roland, it's your turn. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to give him the old one, two, front hand, back hand. Uh, yep. Glaive attack. 11. Doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, and then back half. That hits. Cool. Um, here we go. Takes nice. eight. Eight bludgeoning damage. All right. Man, where, how much health does this guy have? He's got a decent chunk. About that's a, why he's the leader. A oh, that's why he's the leader. Okay, that makes sense. I would have. I actually would have gone harder. If that was anything else you want to do? Uh, I don't think I have anything else. If I'd have known he had more health, I would have probably then used a superiority dice. Spev, you're up. Cool. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and move my move to get up a little bit closer. Yeah. Everybody pile on because I'm not going to survive another round if he hits me. Um, he is right with it. He, he is. I, I go to raise my gun, but I see that Roland's between the two of us. So instead, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ready a shocking grasp to for Spindle to come up and zap this guy from behind. Absolutely. Um, and I think I have advantage because flanking. If not, I get it from armor. That is a nine nor a that's the damage. Oh, oh nice yeah <laughs> all right so the so, nine <laughs> yeah so uh someone remind me how you actually crit in in roll 20 just roll uh just die. roll the can... die twice mm -hmm. all right we'll add it up man yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's right. i don't uh they're just straight d8s that's cool yep. um <laughs> yeah he takes five <laughs> lightning damage yep Awesome. And no reactions. And no reactions. Then Spev, you're up. Or sorry, uh, oh, no. Fen, <laughs> you're up. Fen, you're up. Fen, bail, bail me out here, bud. Okay, let's see. Uh, obviously, I'm attacking Orpheus. Mm -hmm. um, how much distance is that? Uh, let's see let's here. See. 70 feet. 70 feet. I don't think I can get to him. I like no, that. but you got your bow. Yeah. So first thing, I'm I'm using bonus action, putting Hunter's Mark on this dude. Hell yeah. Okay. That's that's He's got the Hunter's way. Mark. I'm gonna use all my movement here because why not? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna move right here. Yep. Yep. So let me change that. Yep. That's the spot right here. Yep. That's the okay. spot. Uh, and so I've used my bonus action already. I've used my movement. Now it's time to attack. I will have to use my longbow. That will be plus seven to attack. Yes. Incoming. Yes. Damn. 13. That hits. Oh, oh shit. shit. Really? That must have been like right on there. Okay. Uh, that is then a 1d8 plus three and then a d6. Mm -hmm. Yep. 1d8 plus three. And here comes the d6. There you go. Nice. Oh, 14. Awesome. Die, motherfucker. Seriously. Uh, anything else on your turn? Um, I, he just yells out, die, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Priscilla is still scrambling up that wall. She's really rolling terribly here. Uh, she's not getting anywhere. It's Orpheus' turn. My God. Um, <sighs> he's going to swing. Um, I'll say he's going to swing at Roland. Yep. Uh, 23 to hit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, how is he? Uh, he deals max damage. Nine. Roland goes down. Yep, I'm down. Uh, then Orpheus looks at Priscilla scrambling on the wall, spits, drops his sword, pulls out a white handkerchief, and raises it in the air. He uh, he knows he's not going to win. He did spit like on Roland's dead face. 
Um, that's that's where the spit landed. Um, but then he raises his white handkerchief in the air, uh, and Wilhelm shouts out, "The match is over! The match is over!" Uh, the troll crag non bandits have uh, conceded. Congratulations to Max's Mad Mythic Mercenaries. Um, the crowd goes wild. Fen, um, your little cheerleading section loves that you had a cool line to say at the end. Um, the uh, people will be out shortly to collect the surviving team members, um, bring back the gentle reposed corpses of the ones that are down, uh, and you have won and made it into round three. Um, awesome. Yay! We oh, will see... Oh yeah, go ahead. I was gonna just, so how does it work, like, Roland obviously went down in this match, how does that work in terms of short, long rest and the way that they bring them back? He's gonna be brought back at one hit point, and then he can do whatever he wants to do on a short rest to get the rest of it back. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we'll take care of all of that next time, as well as see how the rest of the round two matches go. Uh, so thanks again for playing with us, everyone. Ooh, that was a, that was a little a little tight there in the beginning. I think I think you handled it pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking power move. Oh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Kill this dude and then yeah. nah, fuck yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> All my own shots. All right. Thanks All right. for playing with us, everyone. Bye. 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 We love you.